here offering you tips to help you get in shape, just maybe shed a few pounds. And today we are starting with the basics. Trainer and nutritionist Jill Howell joins us. Mm, Thank you so much being for being here. with us. Thank you very much I'm a little for scared. Me. I know. <laughs> We've taken off our shoes, so when you see We're us barefoot. Moving, don't be scared. You might be a little sore, but uh, that's okay. going to be that's good. I haven't had my workout yet. Sore is so. good. Okay, yes. so what do we do if you've never worked out before, kind of in the gym? What are some things that we can do to get started? We have some. I have some basic exercises I can show you that anybody can do at home. Okay. okay. Um, you don't need expensive gym equipment or anything you just have to basically use your body weight um, and maybe get some dumbbells and some resistance bands so okay so what's the first that. one so the first thing I'm going to show you <laughs> we're going to start with legs that's oh, my favorite great okay all my clients know okay so we're going to come forward with our forward lunge okay we're going to go down into the heel oh. keep the back straight look at those and muscles. then you're going to Push off through the heel, okay. come back to standing position. Okay. Now, you always have to do both sides, right? <laughs> right. So it'll be uneven. Okay. Forward, mm -hmm. here we go. Push off through the heel, back to the center. Okay. <laughs> you want to do that continuously, not just one set. You want to really try to get those muscles burning. Okay. And if they start burning, don't stop. Keep going. At okay. least a few after they start burning. At least burning. a few. If your goal is 12, try to do 15, mm -hmm. 16. Okay. With weights or without weights? Start without? Start without weight. You really don't want to overdo it the first time okay. that you're just starting out. Depending on where your fitness level is, mm -hmm. you can maybe start with a little bit of weight. Okay. okay. What's next? Okay. Next, we're going to work on some triceps. Okay. Oh. Muscles right back here. Okay. Okay. You show us. Uh, yeah, I was oh, like, oh, we'll grab these back here. These the light are weights. tricep yeah, kickbacks. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of bend over just okay. slightly, glue mm -hmm. your elbows in here. Go all the way straight with the yeah. arms. Squeeze. Look at that actually have definition in your arms. Yeah. Squeeze. <laughs> I do this all the time. Okay. <laughs> Squeeze Maybe and come in. Um, another way to kind of change it up is you can alternate it. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Alternate it. Kind of give that other arm a rest while you're working the other arm. Okay. Squeeze back straight. Come forward. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Continue again. Now. To me, there's no certain sets, reps. What I like to do is go until you're almost fatigued or at the fatigue point, rest, okay. and then do it again. Okay, right. just so you push it a little further. Right. Um, a lot of people are set on three sets of 10, three sets of 12. That's not really necessary. What I like to do is just continue to go, feel the burn, feel the muscle work, and then go for five more. Okay, and we're going to have Jill back with more tips in the following weeks. So. You're coming back. <laughs> start with those. Start with your legs and your triceps. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. We'll be back in just a minute.